Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Mr. Versatile. So last time, Lascivion was finally expelled from Jake's body, but not before it enraptured and took the life of Captain Crush. And I was thinking back on it after after that video, and it, it was kind of, it's, it's really awful that the last interaction we had with Captain Crush was seeing him, was seeing him <laughs> get F to death. <laughs> and then that's it. They were just like, yeah, all right, he's dead now. It was pretty wild. Um, oops. Anyway, uh, <laughs> that changed the music. Anyway, um, let's just get right into this. I don't think I should, there's anything else to really mention. Um, except Driller has escaped, um, it seems. Where's Driller? He escaped! I'm so sorry, boss! What? How could he have escaped? I left him tied up. Ooh, you undid that. Ooh, you wanted a little piece of Driller. You wanted his drill. Well, if by tied up you mean those bondage cords that made him look terribly sexy. <laughs> Sid, you wouldn't have done <laughs> you wouldn't have had anything to do with this, right? Of course not. On the contrary, I tied him tighter to see how those ropes were wrapped around his sculpted muscles. Whatever, I don't have time for this. We need an escape plan already. We lost our- oh yeah, also, our- the generator can't be fixed, we're all gonna die if we don't escape. We lost the main generator, and the emergency one will drain in an hour. When that happens, the ventilation system will stop working and we'll run out of air. Oh my god, that's terrible. Yeah, thanks for your witty input. We have to find a way to open the hatch to the main room. We can't access the emergency exit until we do. If we blow the gate supports, placing small explosives on one side, I think we can take it down. That won't work, my dear. Huh? I designed that gate. Placing explosives only on one side will only tickle. Load should be placed at various points and on both sides of the door. Yeah, but I must remind you that we're trapped. Oh, boss, don't you remember Octopus Gates? Excuse me? Uh, no. How can you have forgotten when an octopus almost shut our systems down? What are you saying, Sid? Show some respect. Lascivion is not an octopus, nor has he done anything like that. Respect for who? What? It, who are you coming to the defense of? Wait, what? I don't understand what you're on right now, Versatile. Like, what? what are you talking about? He should respect Lascivion? Oh no, I'm not talking about the purple brawny version of our friend Jake. Come on, I'm talking about the day the tide rose so high that the underground cave was flooded and the water reached the armory. Ah, uh, I remember. The next day I found an octopus on the keyboard of the Versa computer. I think he was playing Spider Solitaire. That's right! And do you remember where that octopus came from? Now I get it. Good idea, Sid. There's a ventilation duct that connects the main room with the armory. We can get in through there. Thank god. I was getting to worry the pressure was getting to you. <laughs> I... Honestly, before when I said you're Mr. Versatile and you could handle anything, I was kind of just talking out my ass. <laughs> I'm glad it seems like you actually have it together, though. Well, as I said, we can try to escape the armory through the ventilation shaft. Okay, stop zooming in like that. It connects to the other side of the gate in the underwater cave that serves as an entrance to the base. Although, surely the armory door will also be locked. No problem! I can- why does this feel like <laughs> they're about to pull some kind of heist? <laughs> no problem! I can prepare a device to open it! Its electronic lock is less complicated to hack. Great. How long will it take? The music even sounds like heist music. I'll hurry as much as possible, but at least 20 minutes. Okay. Get it. 
Get to it as soon as possible. Yes, boss. There, he'll hack the door to the exit and place the explosive loads in the main hatch. Once the gate is demolished, we can access the underwater cave. And then we'll go in that car submarine of yours. We won't use the... I, I still don't understand how Captain Crush got in here. Like, he broke down a door, didn't he? What door did he destroy? We, we, we won't... <laughs> I seriously don't get it. We won't use the Versamobile. The entrance hatch would still have to be open, and it's underwater. It's the first and strongest security measure to the base. Oops. We'll escape through the emergency exit. A tunnel that connects to an old abandoned mine tunnel. The hatch opens from the inside, and it's manual, so it hasn't been affected by the power failure. The only problem is that the vent leading to the armory is very narrow. I'll do it. Uh, I guess you're actually... you look like you're the thinnest. That won't be necessary. I know the right person. You're right. I wouldn't know how to put, put those explosives. We haven't talked about Chihuahua in a while. We left him in the kitchen. <laughs> We left him in the kitchen ages ago. I guess that was only like two hours ago, but still, we're planning this escape, and we haven't even spared one thought for him. I'll be right back. I but I, I'm assuming, yeah, that's assuming that's where we're going now. <laughs> Finally, as soon, as soon only because we need him are we here in the first place. If we didn't need him, we, we might have just left him behind. Holy crap! Why is there a fire? M m wait, what voice was I doing for him? M Mr. Versatile, great timing. Don't worry, I was about to turn it off. How did this happen? Does it matter? We're trying to escape this death trap. Well, I was trying to impro improvise a stove to cook. Have you got- there aren't stoves in your Versa kitchen? What the? Have you gone mad? Have you gone mad in your- in your- in your kitchen planning? Turn that off, please. Turn it off! It's a fire! Although it doesn't matter what happens to this place anyway. Right away! I understand that- I mean, I understand that you're mad at me, Mr. Versatile, but I just wanted you to try and- I just wanted you to try my special mole. It just- that sounds so weird when he says, my, my special mole. It sounds like he's talking about a mole on his face or body. Like, I think he- does he have a mole under his eye? Or is that something on my computer screen? <laughs> Forget about that. We have something urgent to deal with and I need your help. Really? Do you need my help? I have no other choice. Uh, you're a perfect candidate. Can I count on you? On delay! Whatever you need, mister. Get ready. And meet me in Sid's room. Like I've he knows- I've already spoken with Chihuahua. Like, he knows where Sid's room is? Honey, he doesn't know the way he's around the place. I'm very sorry that you're going to lose your Versa base, Mr. V. I mean... Are we gonna lose it? Can't we just come back with some... With some fresh supplies and whatnot to fix the generator? You know? I don't understand why it's... I mean, I understand, we're gonna blow up the door, but, I mean, it's not gonna, like the whole place is gonna be destroyed, right? Don't worry. What's important is that we all get out of here. I don't understand why he's losing his whole base, but fine. Things are replaceable, but people aren't. How are you feeling, Jake? I mean, Captain Crush is kind of replaceable. <laughs> We've kind of replaced him. We forgot him. We did, he, Versatile is not concerned about the death of the man that used to be his lover, pretty much. I think that, little by little, I feel like myself again. Good. Mr. V, there is something I've been wanting to do for a while. Oh, you have to go to the bathroom? Oh dear. What? No, no, it's not that. Do you want to kiss me? But haven't we already kissed? You see, since we have some time while we wait, I thought that... I mean, that maybe you and I could spend some time together, alone, you know? Uh, well, well, you know, Sid said it would only take 20 minutes to, 
for him to create that electronic lock or whatever. But sure, I mean, we're not dying. Let's... let's... <clears throat> what am I saying? Please forget what I told you. No, I'm saying we should do it. Come on. I understand that this isn't the right time. It may be the last minutes of our lives, and surely you have something better to do. Alright. Well. Uh, we had a little fun little scene with Jakey Boy. Um, it's honestly... Versatile's endurance is kind of crazy. Um, four times in one day, like I said in the uncensored scene. I've already explained to Chihuahua how the device works. <laughs> By the way, why does it look like you guys have crusty white stains on your shirts? Are you clear, Chihuahua? Crystal clear. In that case, go to the main room and wait for us there. Yes, Mr. Versatile. Jake, wait for me in the corridor, please. I'll go right away. Oh my god, Driller's gonna attack him. He's gonna take him hostage or something. Sure. If you don't mind, I'll stay here for a moment. I'm backing up the most important files and we'll see what else I can save. What's the matter, Sid? I'll miss this place, still don't understand why you can never come back. Tell me about it. And my secret project, so much work wasted, what is it? It doesn't have to go to waste, let's use it. Oh no dear, I wish we could, but it's not ready. Of course it is, I've seen it. What? When? It doesn't matter now. Sid, listen, I know that you're making the decision to jump, I know that making the decision to jump forward is difficult. But sometimes there's simply no other choice. If you are waiting for the right time to test your work, don't hesitate. This is it. Do you really believe that? I believe it. So, you know what to do. Get out there and sissy that walk, B. Thank you, Kuro. Is this some kind of drag outfit? <laughs> By the way, I see that your relationship with the redhead has gone beyond Dr. Patience. <laughs> I also see that you've been getting pretty frisky with that chihuahua. What the hell are you- why are you two-timing? Sid, that's none of your business. Oh dear, really? With all the nonsense that you tell me about every day, and for an interesting thing- and for an interesting thing that happens to you, you really aren't going to ha tell me? Why can't I talk? No. Aw, why have you been so mean? Okay, I'll have to resort to my imagination. Sorry to keep you waiting. No problem. Jake, there's something I want to tell you. And I prefer to do it now, in case things get complicated and I have no chance to do it later. Sure, go ahead. You see, I... Hey, you can tell me anything it is. You know that, right? I've been thinking that when we get out of here, our paths will have to separate. Why? You'll get your life back, and I... Well, I guess I'll be busy looking for another underground hole to use as a hiding place. I want you to know that I'm glad I met you, and I wish you all the best. I don't understand why he can't. He can live in our new Versa base. I get it. I guess now that I don't have an alien inside of me, I'm not interesting anymore. Oh my god, you're, mate, you're hurting him. Jake, it has nothing to do with that. And what is it then, Kuro? <laughs> I saw how you looked at Captain Crush as he died. You were smiling, you were licking your lips. You wanted those tentacles, you wanted that alien. It's just that... What do I do? If I tell him the truth, he'll insist on staying with me, it'll be more difficult to reject him again. But if I lie to him, I know it'll hurt him. Let's see... You're right, I'm not interested in you, I don't want to, I don't want to put you in danger. The only thing I can say is I'm sorry. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to plant some explosives. <laughs> I like that cutaway. Oh, he's looking he's looking a little bit mad at us. Good, the explosives are already on on this side. Now we wait for Chihuahua to do his part. It's taking too long though. I'll call him to see what's going on. Chihuahua, how's everything on your side? Chihuahua, can you hear me? Ooh, did Driller or the Lascivion get him? There's no signal. Crap, I don't like this. You guys grooving out? 
do you think something happened to him? I don't know, but I'll have to check it. I'll send a scout drone through the vents. Mr. V, let me go. What? No way, it's dangerous. And it wasn't for Chihuahua? But he's trained for these situations. Is he? We called him a rookie. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but what if he needs help? How are you going to help him with a drone? But at least I'll see how the situation is. What if it's too late for him by then? I guess you're right. We're running out of time. He's the only one that's that fits through that vent. Okay, go. But I want you to know that I don't like this idea one single bit. Don't worry, Mr. V. I'll be fine. Aww. How are you doing, Jake? Considering that I've only crawled about three feet, fine. Describe what, what you see as you go forward. There's not much to describe. Ducked and more ducked. I don't see any sign of Chihuahua. Just a moment. I think I see something ahead, but what? What's the matter? What did you see? Give me one second. I need to get closer. It looks like... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what? This is... Les Sivion's fluid. He's been here, Mr. V. Crap, Jake. Come back right now. Get out of there. I'm going. Go, go, go. Wait, does... <laughs> ah, something grabbed me. It's, uh, pulling me. Jake, hold on. It's too strong. Ah, god damn it. Oh, he screams. No, Jake. The scream has echoed throughout the room. Well, you know, this was obviously going to happen. Someone was going to get him. That damn Lascivion doesn't give up. But I'm not going to let him take over Jake again. Back off. I'm going to detonate those explosives. I'll blow this damn door up no matter what. Oh. <laughs> Holy crap, what a mess. Alright, maybe a bad plan. There, it could go through that hole. If I can get that beam out of the way. Whoa, okay. Ugh, it's almost there. Flex those muscles. Are you ready, bitches? Here comes elegance made strength. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Sid, yes. Was he creating some kind of... Some kind of drag queen... Suit, Iron Man suit, you know? I think so, I, I think so. <laughs> For the power of realness, I am Metal Extravaganza. Sid? The one and only. <laughs> your pussy is on fire. Oh lord. Make room for your queen. Oh lord, Sid to the rescue, I love it. We did it, I can get through now. <laughs> Hold on, Jake, I'm right there. No, not my boys, not my twinks. Oh god, they're so cute. Oh lord, which one do I choose? Are you, are you offering me one of the twinks and and you want and you want the other one? Honestly, that's a that's a fair trade. Give me Jake, you can have Chihuahua, and we can just go our separate ways. Um, <laughs> enough, Lascivion. Drop them, or you'll regret it. No, little mister. That's not the decision I have to make. But which of these two young hunks is going to be my new home? So, is he giving us a choice? Let's, let's see. The one with the cute ears has a very good body. And I'm sure he's an effer. But I've already grown fond of Jake. Yes, I think I'd better stick with what I already know. No, that's the one that I wanted. Oh, no. If that's true, that you- Wait, if that's true, that you are fond of him, why do you do this to him? Well, it's just, just a simple matter of survival. I won't let you do it. If I were you, I'd stay still. Do you see my tentacles? Yes, and they're turning me on. What's your point? I've already started the fusion process with Jake. If you-, you Look at his face now. If you kill me now, or knock me unconscious, he'll die too. Damn you. Sorry about that. It seems I've taken a liking to be- to this being a live thing, you know. Please, don't do it. There has to be another way. Like what? 
Let's see. Oh, take Chihuahua instead. Oh my god. Could we live with ourselves? Could we live with ourselves? Oh my god, I need to remember to censor that. <sighs> I need to remember to censor that. Let me note that down. Alrighty. Anyway. So, take Chihuahua instead, now that you're free, why don't you take any other host? Oh, take another host, wow. Uh, take Chihuahua. Huh. Do you care so much about Jake that you're willing to sacrifice an innocent being for him? Well, I mean, uh, Chihuahua just gave, gave it up pretty easily. He, he's kind of too much of a slut for me, honestly. Yes, I do. Please, Lasivion. I just want my red-headed twink back. Okay, I'll do it, because deep down, I kinda like you. R really? I I kinda like you too, Lissivion. Wh why haven't we gotten together yet? Also, I feel like a change. Oh my god. Lissivion is a, ta a tangle of tentacles, a twisted mass that jumps towards its prey. As he closes Chihuahua's body, as he encloses Chihuahua's body, he releases Jake's, until he finally falls to the ground. I feel the urge to grab Jake and run away, however I'm paralyzed by the grotesque scene that unfolds before my eyes. Uh, can extravaganza! Can you do something about this? It's not like the previous times when Jake transformed into the Sivion. This process is slow and seems painful. The young man's body is changing, transforming into another being that is not the Sivion or Chihuahua but retains a close resemblance to both. Suddenly the being opens his eyes and looks at me. It seems confused. Oh dear. Until he smiles, and then he makes my blood run cold. The Sivion? Whoa. Lassaby? No, that's not my name anymore. Now I'm Lassaby. For a moment, I think he's going to tear me apart. He'll destroy me and Jake in a second. Are you saying uh, Chihuahua is a bee? And Jake in a second, and that everything, absolutely everything, will have been useless. But then... This body feels so different from Jake's. It overflows with sexual energy. Uh, I did, I told you he was a massive slut. I feel unstoppable, and all thanks to you, little mister. See ya. With a supernatural leap, Lassaby disappears into the darkness of the cavern. Finally, I allow myself to breathe again. Ah, oh, Jakey, uh, it's, uh, it's... What happened? Oh, you should have seen it, Jake. I, I kicked Lassivion's butt. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I totally kicked his butt and saved you. That's right, and also Chihuahua is safe too. Don't worry, I already sent him home. We took a bus. What, what bus? What are you talking about? We're still underground. Shut up, Jake. Don't worry, you're safe now. Sorry, I just wanted to do the right thing. I know. What happened to the Sivion and Chihuahua? Is he okay? Kuro, what happened? I said he's on the bus, okay? I'll tell you later. We have to get out of here first. <laughs> See a little transition. A month has passed since all of that. Since then, I've continued with my life, although it has changed significantly. We better be living with Jake. What happened at the Versa base was a catastrophe, but it helped me realize many things. I lost what was the base of my operations for many years, but most importantly, lives were lost. And I'll have to learn to live with the weight of some of the decisions I made. I sacrificed Chihuahua to save Jake, and that's something that will always be on my conscience. Not mine. Not, not mine. I mean, I say it'll be on my conscience, but uh, I have Jake now, so who needs Chihuahua? Not to mention that damn driller escaped again. But that's the least important, important of it all. I'll get him again. How do we not? How do we know that he didn't actually just die in that base because he didn't know? Or did we even tell him that the base was running out of air? He might have literally died down there. However, I've learned an important lesson from all of this, and has said our superhero sidekick now as Extravaganza. 
No matter what ideals you strive for, life is not worth it if you deny yourself the right to be happy. And I was determined to deny it to myself. Shit! I became so steeped in my existentialism, Zack, is that you? That I didn't realize what time it was. If I don't hurry, I'll be late. I can't let that happen. Not in such a special night. Ooh, we're having a dinner with Jakey? Oh no, oh my god, he plays the piano to a recital. Look at the darling. Thank goodness, after all that I'm on time. I wouldn't forgive myself for missing, missing Jake's first gig. Oh my god, he's so elegant in that suit. And he plays so damn well. He looks like an angel. Oh no, is it over already? So soon? I have to go congratulate him. <gasps> oh my god, he looks beautiful. You came! How could I miss it? Congratulations, you were wonderful. People went crazy applauding, they loved it. And you? I enjoyed it very much. I even got a bit emotional. Thank you. It means a lot to me. That's why I wanted to dedicate this concert to you. To me? Yes. I have so much to thank you for. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. Not only did you save me from Lascivian, you instilled in me the confidence I lacked. Jake, you saved me too. You changed me. For the first time in a long time, I am happy. I have also been very happy since we got together. Aww. Uh, is something wrong? You got quiet. I'm just kind of horny right now. <laughs> Sorry, it's just that you are ravishing in that suit. Yeah, see, I know. Although, to be honest, I'm looking forward to ripping it off from you. Why don't you rip it off right now? What do you think if I take you somewhere to celebrate? Huh. And why don't we celebrate here? Exactly. What? Here? I'm sorry, is the room filled with lava that's slowly, that's slowly ascending and gonna kill us? Why not here, dumbass? Why not? No one is going to come in. Oh dear. Jake, my sweet Jake. I was a prisoner of my own fear for feeling something for someone. And therefore, I was condemning myself to something much worse, an empty life. I haven't been able to defeat that fear completely. But thanks to you, I've mustered the courage to give myself a second chance. And this time, I'll do it right. I'll protect you, Jake. Whatever happens, I'll always be there for you. Rank B? Wait, what does that mean? Could I have gotten rank A? Did I do something bad? Could I have gotten a better ending? Jake, sweet Jake. Is that the name of this ending? Interesting. I don't... Hmm. So I, I, could, I could have gotten a rank A, I'm assuming? That's very interesting. Um, well, I absolutely love that. I love that this game do, oh, doesn't have any credits. And even if you go to the credits, there are no credits here. Very odd that this game didn't have credits. Um, but... As much as I loved, enjoyed that, we will be going through it again, of course. Um, I almost want to do a little prodding to see if I can get the A ending. It's not like there's going to be any... Well, the developer usually sells a guide for the game. But there's not going to be any free guides. Uh, <laughs> um, so, I think next time I'm... I'll come back with Chihuahua, with more Chihuahua. It'll probably be the Chihuahua ending. I'm not sure if that'll be one or two videos to do everything for him and get his ending. I don't know. But we'll come back with that. I might prod around to see if I can get a A rank ending for Chi... No, for Jake. Um, and then we still have four others to go through after that, so... And we're gonna do them all. I've been really enjoying this game. I loved it. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, just like all the rest. And um, if you really did enjoy 
watching Mr. Versatile. Um, I would recommend that you go and watch another game that this developer is currently making called Alpha Prison Hole. Again, I will link the playlist to Alpha Prison Hole in the description of this video. They're currently running a Kickstarter for the game, so check out the demo, see if you like it. Because it's, it's good, really good, just like this game. And um, yeah, so check that out, support the Kickstarter, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.